Alright, so we're back again. This is part two. And I'm still here on the same page. Just want to point out a few more things as we keep going. Uh, the permalink is very important. So provided you have the structure all set up correctly, uh, we want the title to reflect um, our, our keywords. So we don't want to get too carried away and have like or the or different keywords that really don't mean much. We just want the main keyword phrase in the um, in the page itself to be identified by that. Uh, this is a page that we're creating. It's not a blog post. So sometimes blog posts will appear differently. They're more catchy articles and, and different things that people look for. But in this case, you know, keeping your keyword phrase as close as you can to the URL. Is, is very helpful for search engines. Uh, checking off, making sure that this color it gets to green. Once you get it to green, great. If you want to go a step further, you can keep checking it and finding out how to make it better and what to add to continually uh, get better and better until you get to a place where uh, you just you know what is required. And uh, the cool thing is, as you're updating this plugin. Yeah, it's it's keeping up to date with what search engines need, so that's kind of helpful to know. Uh, and then if you need like little details on how many characters for this, how many characters for that, read these things. It will really help. Uh, put in your tags, put in your categories. So make sure uh, if if this well this is a isn't a blog post, so we don't have to really worry about that. But you know, make sure it's if it lives within a sub page that you put the parent page and allow this to be the child page, or if it has, you know, no connection to it, fine. If you can get it on the home page somehow, it's going to be helpful to link it up. If you can create links within here to like other parts of your site and other pages, like linking in between pages, it's going to be crazy helpful as well so uh, just you just have to keep an organized mind and knowing what's on your site what pages can work together and how I can push people to different pages uh, make sure to have a call to action to get people to purchase this and to go to the next step or some free incentive so you'll you'll start developing these little snippets and words and phrases that you can drop in that's gonna help you um, but definitely if this is just a page on its own and there's no real way to get to it it's not going to be very helpful um, unless you're linking to it from the home page somehow or some other page so um, so the spiders can see that hey these things are actually connecting so there may be importance to it and again links to this page from other sites are going to be very helpful as well. So let's go to another example. This one will be a little bit better to look at. Here we go. So we have a green one here. Uh, this one's Coral Springs CrossFit. This is a local city, and uh, we did this page specifically for this type of search. So Coral Springs CrossFit is the title we have right here in the next line, the same phrase. Uh, our images, we actually have two images in this one. Uh, these have, I just pulled it off, you can tell here, Coral Springs CrossFit Gym. And we have another one, it's probably Coral Springs CrossFit. So our images are title correctly in the file name. Another thing to note is when you're putting your image on the site, you want to make sure the alternative text here is the same phrase as this, just without the hyphens. Um, another way to check on that is if you go to the text tab, uh, you should be able to see, yeah, right here. So it's called the alt tag. Um, and in the code, you'll see alt equals Coral Springs CrossFit Gym. If you don't have this, it really is kind of going against the point of 
putting up images. I, I think it's very helpful. So make sure you take all the appropriate steps to name your files correctly and then put in the alt tag. And once you upload it through the media section, right, it's going to have an option here, alt text, for you to type that in. So be, right before you insert it, type it in um, directly so, so you don't have to go into the code or anything. That. So get your images in. Uh, you know the closest you can get your keyword phrase to the top, the better. So in this case, I'm, I'll do something like this. So I'll do yeah. So I'll I'll put the the title up here. I could even go. Um, I can do it like this. The paragraph below this. There you go. So the closer your your keyword phrase is to the first sentence, the first few sentences, the the better they're gonna rank you. They're gonna say, hey, they, this must be important. They have it at, at the top of it. And then just write, you know, write something creative um, that relates to this. That doesn't sound too robot-y and fake, but like talk as though you're talking to humans, but then also try to be creative in actually getting some of these keyword phrases in and uh, links to other pages within your site and outside your site are gonna help again. Um, here's a link, we've, we've got that linked up and then let's go, here's our call to action, contact us. So that's pretty good. Uh, we could put more words in and make this more helpful, I don't know what just happened so let me what happened at that gateway this is probably what happens when you have uh, GoDaddy as your <laughs> hosting provider which by the way they bought out Media Temple so <clears throat> alright and here we go so again focus keyword is CrossFit or Coral Springs CrossFit and then in my SEO title, I have a pretty attractive call to action, like you know, amazing Coral Springs CrossFit gym, or um, you know, free something free, something um, check out this or whatever. You know, like there's catchy phrases that you can use and descriptive words that um, you know, it could be clean, the cleanest CrossFit gym in South Florida. You know, anything you can think of, just try to get that phrase in there. Um, and then just a description on what the page is about, and that will that will really help you out a lot. Um, and make sure all these are green, and that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll continually get better at this, but the point is to just start, start getting to a place where you can at least show greens, and then eventually you'll start really taking advantage and coming up with more ideas for your site and how to market it in, in different ways.